up guys it is your boy will back with another video today in this video i will be talking about amc and gamestop stock ticker symbol gme i am holding strong like i told you guys i am diamond handing this stock i have a set amount of shares that i'm holding for longer term of a price target of around 100 dollars. but i'll also be playing it in between to have my money work multiple times okay so we'll go over these levels we'll go over the old levels and we'll go over how i'm playing both stocks okay and which stock i'm actually holding okay so make sure you guys smash that like button let's get this video over 50 likes i really appreciate it thank you for our love on channel subscribe I'm trying to get the 10k by the end of this year and turn on those post notifications i post every day around 5 p.m central and sometimes around 3 p.m central to give you guys updates on amc and jme so i hope you guys like these videos now before i start in the comments section below let me know if you guys are holding amc and let me know your guys plans on amc okay and also on gme so maybe we can come together and build some type of uh portfolio that we can do with amc and gme and give back our analysts and our ideas and what we see on both stocks okay now first buying level was 37 dollars second buying level was 35 dollars and 50 cents this is why i say make sure you show your support first link in the description okay to show your support to the youtube channel uh, if you like the videos i make for you guys and the key levels i give you guys first link in the description join that and for thank you for joining uh, the first link in the description you join in the hundred dollar 10k webull challenge okay if you don't have a webull account you can get one link down below you get two free stocks when you deposit a hundred dollars which is what we are starting off with so buying level was 37 dollars. okay we did buy here so it dropped down did not come close to that okay so that is showing strength then the stock did go high overall came down a little bit okay look how it acted today came down came back up ran through it but came back down okay but i also gave you guys one more buying level that it can come down to which was 30 35 dollars and 50 cents you can always check back on the videos i give you these levels beforehand okay came down traded sideways right showed a little buying pressure right here came down you would have entered here okay if you don't have our if you didn't um already have shares you would have entered here you would have known that if you're in a stock market options crash course you can use will 50 off 50 dollars off uh but if you're in a stock market options crash course you could have entered here and you could have entered here okay so two entries after showing that buying pressure okay right at the level okay right at the level i gave you guys then starting to go higher okay this is why i have not sold any shares of amc i don't plan on selling anytime soon for the uh longer term shares that i'm holding okay it is showing that strength and this was also around the last defense that i did not want it to fall below okay like i told you guys this is one of the last places for amc to start going higher okay if it fell below here and start breaking then i thought the price would go below 30 dollars. so right now this is good i want to see this is showing strength in the market and now look like hopefully the day might end green but overall, this is good. This is what we want to see showing in strength to go in Monday. Okay. So buying level hit, buying level hit. Okay. Now, as this level comes higher, uh, as this stock is going higher, the level you want to watch out for on Monday, I'll go ahead and give you guys the level that I'm looking for on Monday is around $37. Okay. So hopefully it closes above 37 today. Okay. So Monday, that can be another level that we can buy at. Okay. So if it closes at 37 today, then on Monday, I will be looking to buy a $37 around this area for buying pressure to buy more shares. Okay. Like I said, I'm trying to build a bigger position. So that's the main level I'll be looking forward to close above. And then that's the main level I'll be looking for Monday to actually buy more shares at. Okay. Then a level you want to look out for resistance is around let me go back to the 30 minute is around 43 dollars so up here this is where i think we might see some selling pressure on amc okay so kind of watch that level um on monday for amc i think we might see some selling pressure oh let me turn that red selling pressure on amc around this level okay so i'm looking to enter here again it needs to close above this on thir uh, 37 dollars needs to close above this today come back down to it monday looking to buy more shares there and then i'll probably hold the shares as it continues to go higher i'll wait for it to come up to the sell point target to see selling pressure and then i'll buy as the selling off again 
Okay, so that's the way I'm playing AMC and the key levels I'm looking for on Monday. Next, GME. Okay, buying level I gave you guys. Well, first, the resistance level was, where is it? Still up here. Okay, this is still a resistance level you want to watch out for. But you will also want to watch out for around 191. Okay, 191 is another resistance level that you kind of want to look for because it is kind of closer to price. Okay, so let me make that a little thicker. Yeah, so around here, you want to kind of want to look for that. I am looking to buy more shares of GME, but I kind of wanted to come up here and sell off and then buy that sell off. Okay, so one main level I'm looking at 191. Now, buying levels, two buying levels. Okay, one was 170. This is still a buying level, but price is starting to come a little higher. So we'll kind of take that level off. If it ever breaks down between below like 175, then I'll probably look to, um, I'll put the level back on for you guys. But for the buying level that I gave you guys yesterday, it was right here at $1.175, okay? It gave you two entry points. Like I said, if you're in a stock market after crash course, you would know when to enter, okay? Buying pressure here, gave you your entry in here. Buying pressure here, gave you your entry in here. Okay, so it gave you two entries to get in, and then the stock is going higher. So it came down. This is not a uh, breaking uh, buying pressure. Okay, it's not breaking buying pressure. We do allow it to go down a little bit and come back up. So I consider that buying pressure. Enter here, and then look how almost perfectly that hit. Came back down to it, hit it. If you notice, it hit it perfectly right here too. Came back down, hit it, show buying pressure. Could have got in and now hold it. But like I said. That resistance level is around 191, so I'm kind of waiting for that resistance level to um, take an effect. And then once that comes out, then I might enter. So we'll take off that buying level. That buying level has been exhausted. And the way I'm playing GME is mainly off this resistance level. Okay, I want it to come up here because I want to see strength first. So once it's coming up, it's confirming that it has strength, right? Which is what we want. We want to confirm that it has strength. So once it comes up, hits this resistance level. Uh, which I think might be some sell-off, okay? Once it sells off, I'll buy that because strength is confirmed, sell-off is confirmed. So you can buy that sell-off depending on how, wherever it goes in here, right? We'll know on Monday, but this is one of the main levels I'm looking to look at for Monday. Then how, depending on how much it sells off, I'll be buying that sell-off to see price go next to around 250 and above, okay? So that's how I'm playing GME, very specific. So make sure you guys listen very carefully. You can always rewatch the videos. Okay, so that's how I'm playing both of these stocks. Main uh, big levels I'm watching for Monday. So make sure you watch out for them. And I think they could um, go higher Monday as well. Okay, so they could explode off these levels. So just make sure you watch them carefully. Thank you for all the support on the channel. I appreciate it. And uh, make sure you look out for the video that I post around 5 p.m. Central Time on all the top stocks that I think can go crazy on Monday. Okay, so without further ado, make sure you always remember not a recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.